are here at one of my favorite venues in all of Wicker Park. At the bustling Six Points corners of North Milwaukee and Damon, we are at Chop Shop. Now I'm about to sit down with one of the co-owners and original butchers, Mario Minnelli, and he's about to show me how to make their famous porchetta sandwich. All right, Mario, you know Chop Shop's one of my favorite places, but I want to hear more about how you came up with the concept. What we are is a, you know, a three-tier business. We're a concert venue, a butcher shop, a restaurant, a catering hall, you name it. We kind of try to corner the market on it. A lot it. going on. Now, I know you're about to show me how to make your famous Plaquetta sandwich. Tell me about how you came up with the sandwich and the whole process here and what we're using. So what we have here is our porchetta which is our pork belly, which is essentially bacon. Okay. And then um, a traditional porchetta is pork on pork on pork. So what I did was pork on pork on beef. So I used a uh, prime sirloin. Ingredients that I use, all fresh ingredients as well. Imported Asiago cheese, um, finely diced orange, hot jardinera pepper, then some fresh arugula, tomato, and then the last but not least, of course, signature uh, Chicago, Toronto French rolls. So, so yeah, just uh, slice it nice and thin. Do about two slices per sandwich. I always just like to do the cheese right after the meat. Right. Some tomato. I love the oranges. Orange like zest. you would not think about. Oh, well, it gives it yeah that sandwich. zest flavor to uh, to the meat. It definitely complements the meat. For some pepperiness. Yep. A bit more heat with the jardinera. It gives a nice little fire to it. I'm right. slice it in half. Ooh. Salud. Salud. That Toronto French roll is so good. I mean, obviously, it really holds up to the like hardiness of the sandwich. It, it definitely complements the ingredients that you put in there, and it's. Kind of why Toronto has the name that they do. Yeah, so. you guys have been using it forever, their products. Between my two shops, yeah. My only uh, bread company I use. The orange is so interesting on it. And it Compl gives it the sweetness from, that bounces out the Jardinera, because that really gives a little kick. Yeah. Oh man, that's good.